Everyday computer workers, they use their body. Their body is, is their work instrument, basically. So the statistics now show that about one person out of 10 at some point will uh, suffer from musculoskeletal disorders. If we stay like this for hours, it's not good for the body. The body needs minimal amount of movement to get the blood going to the muscles that are working to favor regeneration, so to favor health of these muscles. So there needs to be a bit of movement. No movement is bad. So we've been looking for, for years for ways to adapt the uh, computer workstations to ways that still allow us to work and to be productive, but that might be less harmful, less dangerous for the body. So the muscles that we're talking about are the muscles of the neck shoulder region. So the upper trapezius muscle is the muscle that's been shown to be the most vulnerable. Uh, there's also the cervical muscles, so the, the muscles of the, that join the, uh, the heads uh, here to the, uh, to the upper spine. There's also the forearm region for the wrists, and uh, so it, it's understandable with all the repetitive movements of the fingers. So we've been looking for, for years for ways to adapt the uh, computer workstations to ways that still allow us to work and to be productive, but that might be less harmful, less dangerous for the body. And in big companies that try to get their employees to be more productive, so for example, Facebook and Google, they've started to incorporate in their workplace these treadmill computer workstations. Would it be possible that people lose weight, but then they develop other kinds of injuries? And that might be good in one way, but not the best in other ways. Uh, so that was the motivation for us to, uh, to do the studies. The goal now is to really measure what is going on and the, the patterns in the muscles. So what Larissa is doing now is she's locating the uh, muscles of interest. So the main muscles that we're recording from for this experiment uh, are located with manual palpation. So when we started doing this experiment, we, uh, we targeted measurements of the neck shoulder region and, uh, and motion capture of the upper limbs and the, and the neck and shoulder joints and also the, the hips and the lower back. Okay, so you can step on and start to get it. And what we found was that uh, there seemed to be some beneficial effects in, in avoiding these sustained postures. The, the body is not made to not move. Uh, so it sounds like a good idea to be walking while you're working on computer, uh, but we wanted to validate that. So we wanted to, to know if really the lower limb movements has a positive effect on the upper limbs. Yes, there's evidence to suggest that the muscles are working in a more effective way, in a less dangerous way. What is the future going to look like? To me, it makes sense to incorporate movements somehow in some way in the workplace. But we can think that the workplace will get rid of all the problems. There's a lot of studies that show that there needs to be an enjoyment. There needs to be a time away from, from work. And that kind of physical activity might actually be more effective uh, towards health. So I like the idea of going towards more active workplaces, but we still have to take care of what we do outside the workplace to, to be healthier.